Welcome back guys, it's Brad from probatehouseguy.com. So I'm a real estate investor. I specialize in the world of probate and inheritance properties. Been doing real estate for a number of years and been focusing on probate and inheritance for a number of years. Uh, but today I'm gonna continue our series on investing your 401k or your IRA money into real estate. Check out my other videos about that. I explain all the ins and outs of all that. But today I'm gonna talk about one component of that and how you can invest your money, which is partnering with someone on a deal. So you can actually take your 401k or your IRA funds and you can partner with someone either directly in a deal or maybe similar to a syndication where you are a, a partial owner of an LLC and that LLC is buying properties. So those are a few ways you can do it there. So partnering, you can either partner uh, where you are investing, uh, you know, 90% of the capital, 10% of the capital, 30%, 40%. The sky's the limit. But the only difference is that when your IRA is partnering with someone on a deal, you have to be given that same exact percentage share back. So if let's say you're buying one property, okay, and you are going to be 50% partner in that deal with an investor, the other investor has to bring 50% of the money to the table and you have to bring 50% of the money table. Those percentages have to be the same. And also one caveat there, and you should check the IRS regulations about this, is that you as the sort of beneficiary of this 401k or this IRA, you are not allowed to have direct involvement in, involvement in that deal. So you can't go be swinging a hammer on that deal or you can't be doing work on that deal. You can maybe direct things, you know, like say, hey, you, you know, I need uh, a contractor to go here or whatever, but you can't have direct involvement in that deal uh, because you could risk disqualifying those funds and then you'd have to pay taxes on that and you don't wanna do that. So. Make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, and that same token of the direct ownership percentage, you're, you're also entitled to 50% of the proceeds or the returns back. But that also means you're 50% share in the losses. If it does uh, lose money, um, you do have to think about that as well. So let's talk a little bit more about uh, partnering with someone and some of the other ways that you can do it. Well, you could partner with someone where kind of like a syndication where you're maybe a limited partner um, in it. And uh, you could also partner where you're uh, also a general partner in that. But remember, you need to sort of limit your general partnership owners, uh, ownership. Most people don't know this, but you can partner with yourself on real estate deals. I know it's crazy because you can't loan money to yourself because that's considered a disqualified transaction. Same with your relatives. Your relatives can actually partner with you with i say relatives i mean your immediate family your your relatives like your uncle can loan you money out of their 401k or their ira but your dad can't or your sister or your brother like they can't do that so go check out the irs regulations about that don't quote me on that you need to go read those for yourself make sure you understand what the disqualified transactions are disqualified people i'll put a link uh below in the description about that but if you are partnering with yourself, just like if you're partnering with another partner, your IRA has to bring 50% of the deal to the table, and you as an individual have to bring 50% of the deal together, and you are sharing in that 50% of the deal. So that's actually a way that you can use your 401k or your IRA money to partner with someone, including yourself, um, on a deal and actually use your IRA 401k money. But again, like I said, my disclaimer here, make sure you read and understand the IRS rules around disqualified transactions, disqualified people. There are certain things and certain persons that you cannot invest your IRA or 401k funds in, and you need to make sure you understand what those rules are. So uh, this was a little bit shorter than the other ones, but that's another way you can utilize your 401k or your IRA money to invest in real estate. Now understand though, partnering is a little bit more hands-on uh, in terms of uh, requiring some more of your time than let's say if you were investing in a syndication uh, as a limited partner or you were just a lender on the transaction, it is gonna require a little bit more of your time and involvement uh, in that transaction. So it's a little bit less passive 
than the other methods. So I hope that helps you out. Um, again, I'm Brad with probatehouseguy.com. If you're interested in learning more about probate and inheritance deals or what I do, or you know, you just want to chat about real estate, I'd be happy to chat with you about real estate. You can reach out to me at probatehouseguy.com. There's a contact form there on the website. Be happy to discuss or answer any questions you might have about probate deals, inheritance deals, real estate in general, investing in real estate, all of the above. Um, so please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So thanks again for checking out this video today and uh, look out for the next one. Thanks again. Bye.